Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be discussing hyponatremia. I will include causes, assessment, and nursing interventions. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. So a normal level of sodium is 135 to 145. Hyponatremia is when your blood specimen is less than 135. So what are the causes? Think of loss such as vomiting, diarrhea, or diaphoresis in excess. In addition, food can also contribute if you have an inadequate amount of sodium intake from a low sodium diet, possibly fasting or your patient that is nothing by mouth. So some critical life events that could pose a risk would include drowning or heart failure. Also, SIADH, also known as syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. This is when your body retains water instead of eliminating it through urine. So it shifts your electrolyte levels, causing hyponatremia. Another contributing factor is kidney disease from a fluid volume imbalance. So moving on to assessment findings for hyponatremia. Beginning with the cardiovascular system, it consists of changes within your vessels that is referred to as normovolemic, hypovolemic, and hypovolemic. So with normovolemic, you will have a fast heart rate. Hypovolemia, you will have low blood pressure and a fast heart rate. Or if you are hypervolemic, you could have elevated blood pressure. Readings with jugular vein distension and a bounding fast pulse. Moving on to integumentary, your patient typically will have a dry mucous membrane. And with respiratory, your patient may have shallow breathing. For your neurovascular system, you may find muscle weakness that is usually a late symptom with headaches, confusion, potentially could lead to seizures. For gastrointestinal, you would have increased hyperactive bowel sounds, diarrhea, nausea, and kidneys will produce an increased amount of urine. So some of these interventions to highlight that is a important topic on NCLEX. If your patient is taking lithium and becomes hyponatremic, it can contribute to lithium toxicity from the body's inability to excrete. So educate your patient on foods that can contain sodium, which includes foods such as cheese, canned foods, lunch meat, or ketchup for a condiment, or your choice of white and wheat bread. So how do you treat it? Medications in a hospital setting for your patient that is hypovolemic, you could infuse normal saline. For your patient that is hypervolemic, treatment of choice are diuretics to help eliminate the excess water. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button.